¿Cómo estás? Uh, muy bien. Muy bien, estoy muy bien. Italian. We're talking in Spanish. Welcome to Glossika's channel. Today we are with Gian and he's a polyglot. I'm Gian. I'm from the French speaking part of Switzerland and I speak five languages, three of which I learned as an adult in my 20s. We have this stereotype thinking mm -hmm. that if you are not a kid anymore, it's just don't, don't waste your time mm -hmm. in trying to, to learn a language. At least that's what a lot of people think. The whole idea of adults not being able to learn a language or not as fast as a child is something I hear often and which I can say is completely wrong. I believe adults and children, uh, when it comes to language learning, it's a bit like the fable about the hare and the tortoise. And children are maybe like the hare, they can run very fast, but they lose steam very quickly, lose interest, have trouble with discipline and being consistent. And language learning, like anything else, consistency is key. And I believe adults, if they manage to find an uh, immersive and interesting method of learning languages, which tends to be the weakness of adults, they can learn languages just as fast, if not faster, than children. So you are from Switzerland mm -hmm. and you speak five languages yes. and I'm really curious how is the learning language system over in Switzerland in public school? Mm -hmm. So in Switzerland we always have to learn one other national language, so in my case it was German. German is already quite a daunting, intimidating, serious language as it is, but the school made it worse by spoon-feeding us with endless grammar drills, vocabulary, you know, reading really boring texts mm -hmm. that, that nobody cared about. It was really successful at destroying my interest in language learning and especially German. And it's only recently, uh, the past few months, that I've really started seriously learning German by myself, that I've discovered, oh, German is great. That's my path, and I think it's similar for a lot of people here. I have the same experience. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess, European mm -hmm. all works similar. For mm -hmm. me, my second language was French. Mm -hmm. I learned French for four years, once a week, every day mm -hmm. for four years, and I didn't learn any because I had no yeah. interest at all. Actually, when I really went to France mm -hmm. and I really wanted to communicate, mm -hmm. wanted to make friends, then I was able to yes. learn it much yes. faster. So I think yes. we are in the right moment. As long as you have the patience, yes. you have the interest, I think mm -hmm. it's never too late. Exactly, and that was happened with me, is my first reaction when I left high school. I can't learn languages, I hate languages. It was only in the course of my 20s when I started learning foreign languages and completely changed my approach to languages that I discovered, hey, I can learn languages. Not only I can learn languages, I enjoy learning languages it. and it, now it's really part of my lifestyle. Do you have any weird, uh, unorthodox mm -hmm. method? Well, Something different? That yes. Does? Can you share with us? Every language is different, right? So for every language, you'll sort of have to tweak your own approach to it. Mm -hmm. So for instance, my first two languages I studied seriously, Japanese and Mandarin, they use Chinese characters. Mm -hmm. To look up words I didn't know, I would use my smartphone and I would learn to draw the characters I did not recognize on the smartphone mm -hmm. to the dictionary app. German uses letters, right? Yeah. Every, each time type in a word you don't know, especially German words can get super long, right? I felt it was, I was wasting a lot of time. So I was like, oh, how do I learn German? First of all, my method of learning German was I got a collection of books, gave myself a goal of every month going through one of them. I bought a headphone set with a speaker and I connected it to my computer. Then I use Google Translate and I speak directly as I read the text and it captures my pronunciation, which is good because if you pronounce it wrong, the yeah. program won't understand what you're saying. So you sometimes have to repeat words. You can sort of narrow down which sort of sounds are problematic for you. And then I get the translation immediately. So I sort of read, and if I don't understand something in the paragraph, I just look at the English translation, and it allows me to go quite fast and to absorb a lot of vocabulary. So what do you think stops adults mm -hmm. from learning languages or mm -hmm. like um, make them hold back and mm -hmm. just give up? Mm -hmm. We tend to approach languages as adults and not as children. When you're learning your language, you're just in a bubble, you're doing it. And you're not thinking about grammar rules and not being too left brain rationalistic uh -huh. about it. If you're learning a language and you find you do, it's boring, the problem is not with you, it's not with the language, it's with how you're learning the language and your approach to the language. Mm -hmm. And how to make things more interesting is this is where it's very important to understand yourself, to understand what 
turns you on, like what makes you passionate, what are your fields of interest. Back then, I was a geek about uh, Shanghai, 1930s. I thought it was super cool, all these gangsters, these hats and stuff, these small round glasses, you know, machine guns. I thought it was really cool. So just a few months after learning Chinese, I was in the library and I saw a, a thick book called Zhiye, Midnight, by a famous Chinese writer, written in the 1930s. No teacher would ever tell you after three months of Chinese, oh, go read a Chinese classic book, you know, from 100 years ago. <laughs> Nobody would do that. And even if I had to, at the beginning, really every second character I had to look up, I stuck to it and I finished the book and it helped me improve my, my whole understanding of Chinese, of course, a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's how you want to approach. The first few months, use an app, get the thinnest possible grammar book about that language, get some basic grammar idea of the language, then you proceed to content that interests you regardless of the difficulties. Really, you have to think about what fascinates you, what turns you on. When you are not in the country, yes. how do you practice this speaking? Okay, if you really want to improve your speaking, you should spend at least uh, two thirds of your time listening, okay. watching content on YouTube or Netflix mm -hmm. in, in, in that language, listening a lot with subtitles. Then it's a question of finding opportunities to practice. There are apps where you can sort of meet other people mm -hmm. who are also make language exchanges, tandems, or try to think aloud in your target language. It helps you learn to think in that language. Another tip is while you're talking, try to record yourself and listen over, and then you can really spot the differences in your accent with a native accent. I still think you have to have some a special ability mm. to be a polyglot. And I believe that every adult can do it even better than kids. Mm. But I still think you have to be especially good, so I want to test you. You have one minute to learn Spanish. Okay, one minute. Okay. Go. ¿Cómo te llamas? Huh? ¿Cómo te llamas? First sí. one. Sí. No, sí. listen to me. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me, ¿Cómo te llamas? What is your name? Mm. And your answer, me llamo Gian. Me llamo mm. Gian. Me llamo Gian. Okay. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Gian. Ok. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Gracias. Muy bien. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. Ok, so we have two questions. ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Soy de... Sweden, no Sweden. I'm Switzerland. Soy de... ¿Eh? Ok, I'm from Soy de... Ok. No, no, soy de... Yo soy... Uh, soy <laughs> no. de... Soy de means I am from... Soy de. Oh, soy de. Oh, that means I am. Yeah. Oh, how do you say Switzerland? Suiza. Suiza. That's right. <laughs> And Shisha. last question. Encantada. And you reply? Sí. Encantado. Okay. Which means what? Pleasure to meet you. Oh, encantado. So we got the five. Encantado. ¿Cómo te llamas? Eh, yo. Eh? Yo llamo. Me llamo. Me llamo. Kian. Okay. Me llamo eh, Kian. Sí. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, muy bien. Muy bien, está muy, muy bien. de Italian. We're talking Spanish. Muy bien. <laughs> muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. ¿De dónde eres? Sí. Soy de... <laughs> soy de... Suiza. Suiza. Okay, soy that. de Suiza. Suiza. Ok. Suiza. <laughs> Encantada. Uh, okay encantado. Sí, he, he got some skills. He got it. You got it fast. I think I would have to see the words And uh, once I see how it's written, especially since I speak French, I can sort of make yeah. the connections um, intuitively mm. of what it means. So I have a lot of difficulty with um, learning languages without seeing them. Okay. Between adults, there are differences. So yeah. some people are more visual, some, people some are more, more yeah. uh, of the auditive memory. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it depends really how your brain is tuned. Find your own method, which mm -hmm. suits you. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Guillaume, for giving us your view in how to learn a, a new language as an adult. It was really interesting. Muchas gracias for having me. No De nada. And I would really like to know if you guys have any tip or any other advice to learn or what kind of learner are you? Are you visual? Are you more audio? Uh, I, I would like to know that. So leave it in the comments. And don't forget, <laughs> Glossika has a new app for iOS that you can download in the app stores. There will be a link down below. You can download it and give it a try. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.